Hi, I'm Dr. Ashdeep Kaur Anand. I'm the clinical director at PCMH Resto Health Bangalore and the founder director of Aviksha, a home-based primary care at PCMH Resto Health. My expertise is in HIV, palliative care and the elderly care. So the normal oxygen level in anybody would be somewhere between 97 to 100%. At times, it can be a little lower, 95, 94, when somebody has an underlying lung problem. It could be a bronchial asthma, it could be some other lung disease like bronchiectasis, it could be some uh, tuberculosis somebody has recovered from and that has resulted in fibrosis of the lungs where the saturation, the oxygen saturation can start dropping. But you don't have to get worried if it's showing 95, 94, even then it is fine. But anything which is less than 93%, then it is a matter of concern, indicating that this person needs oxygen support and might have to be moved to a hospital for oxygen support. So, especially during these COVID-19 times, during this pandemic, because the coronavirus mainly affects the lungs, thus it is important for anybody who has been tested positive with COVID needs to check their oxygen saturation level frequently in a day to know what their saturation level is. But it is important that you follow up these readings with your doctor. And if there is a proper method of applying this pulse oximeter and using that proper method, if the saturation is showing low level, discuss with your treating physician and find out whether these readings are actually real or whether it is a matter of concern or it is just normal that somebody's saturation is showing low levels. At times when the saturation is, even if it is dropping, and if your physician feels that you can still be managed at home with the oxygen support, which we many a times I do it as a home-based primary care, where we provide oxygen concentrator at home for the oxygen support. But then we need to monitor the patient very closely, three to four times in a day, looking at the oxygen saturation. And if the oxygen saturation is being maintained at 93 on a repeated basis, means maybe once or twice in a day or thrice in a day, then the patient definitely needs to be moved to a hospital. So we keep the hospital informed as to this patient is on oxygen support and might need to be moved to the hospital for further management. And depending upon the progress of the patient, then we move the patient to the hospital as and when required, depending on the saturation mainly.